there's three parts of it. And, and, and the first is, is, is informed consent. So there needs to be a mechanism which, in which people actually know what you're doing with their data and they need to be able to consent to it. Right now it's like a 12 page user agreement that nobody reads. That user agreement in no way tells you what they're doing with your data. They just tell you they're gonna use it. Which is kind of weird, right? It's like, there's a lot of different things that a company could do with my data, some of which I'm comfortable with and some of which I'm absolutely not comfortable with. And so for me it's hard because if you present me with that binary choice, yes, no, I'm gonna say no. Because I'm educated and I know what's the, the worst case scenario is. If you tell me, hey, here's what we're gonna do with your data, we're gonna do this and this and this, and we're not gonna do this and this and this, but in return you're gonna get this valuable service, I'm probably gonna say yes. I have no problem with that transaction. The problem is the transaction as it exists right now, it's too, the power is way too much in the people on the other side of the contract. There's no power for us on this side of the contract. So, so that's the first step, is like informed consent. And then the second step is, um, is, 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 is data ownership. So some mechanism for data ownership. And what I mean by that is that at some point I should be able to see what you're collecting about me. And in a, in a best sense, I should be able to have a copy of it. Right, so um, I don't know what the tables look like in Facebook that they're storing on me. I don't know what they have. I wanna know that. I wanna be able to say like, it doesn't have to be like, show me the spreadsheet, but it's like, here are the things that we're collecting about you. And, and that it, if I want to see the actual data, I should be able to, to get that. Because the data is being produced by me, like I'm operating with their system. There's a really interesting thing that, 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 that historically that, is, that comes behind this, which is that um, I think in the 1970s, it might have been a little earlier or a little bit later, but the US telecom companies became nervous that they would be liable for things that people were doing on the phone network. So criminal activity on a phone network, essentially. Right? So I'm using the phone network to plan a murder. The phone company is gonna be liable for that in some way. So they really push hard for, for legislation that, that distanced them from that. But the bottom line was that um, the result of a user's interaction with a system like the phone company did not was not owned by the phone company, it was owned by the individual, right? So you pay for access to the system, but anything that results from the system's kind of activation and use is yours and not theirs. And the reason for that is they didn't want to have anything to do with it. Now, now if you look where we are and like replace phone company with Facebook, it becomes quite interesting. Because Facebook's entire, bar, entire well not their entire, a large part of their profit model is it revolves around, um, around using the stuff that you produce while you use Facebook, right? So I use Facebook, I do this and that and that, this stuff gets produced from it. That's theirs that they use, that's the way, that's kind of what you're farming, right? And so nobody's pushed this to the extent that it could be pushed, but there's some question as to whether, in the US in particular, that, that by precedent, we could actually have this data. Anyways, point is, I wanna have a way to be able to download that data. And that leads us to the third point because I think that's specifically most important in a place where um, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna end my relationship with you. I'm breaking up with you, Facebook. I need to be able to remove my data from your system. This is a really fun experiment and I encourage everybody to do it. And the, is start to quit Facebook. Don't do it if you don't want to. But, but do the whole process, because the last step in the process, I mean, they may have changed it since I did it, but I did it about three years ago, is a wall of your friend's images. It's like all of it, and then it says in the top or the bottom, I don't remember, it says these people will miss you when you're gone. <laughs> it's really amazing, and, and, and I, you know, I don't think they do this, but I think you know, they should like, look for the saddest ones too. Like, <laughs> these people like little tears forming in their eyes. Uh, so, so in Facebook, in, Nor in North America anyway, so I'm, I quit Facebook, but that's really nothing. All that happened when I quit Facebook is that my page is now long, no longer accessible. All of my interactions are still there, every click that I've made is still stored, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there should be a way, similar to a breakup, you know, I'm taking, come get my stuff. <laughs> and so I should be able to get my stuff, you know, because there, the, Facebook is still making money from me and I'm getting nothing in return. And so 
those three things, informed consent, some mechanism for data ownership, and a possibility to remove yourself from the system is the ideal. That's the ideal. And there may be a few more things we could build around the edges of it, but from a user contract, that's what I would want.